Now, although Audi's next generation electric cars will be delayed thanks to some pretty big software problems, they do have a plan. They've got an interesting plan to make electric cars that actually clean the air while they drive, which is pretty damn awesome. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's great to have you here. I made a video several months back about a company in Europe, about, in fact, some students in Europe, who made an electric car that can clean the air while it drives. And actually, it does work. It cleans carbon and other stuff out of the air while it drives. It's cool. It's awesome. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check that video out to see that car. The stuff that students can make these days, wow, there's some seriously smart, dedicated, really visionary students getting around. And those are the kind of people that, you know, you would hope would start to work on EVs. And maybe they have. Maybe they've gone to Audi. Now, with particulate pollution being a huge problem in large urban centers, in fact, a much bigger problem than people realize. For example, pollution is actually killing millions of people every year, and it does cause cancer. Pollution from diesel vehicles and from gasoline-powered vehicles has now proven unquestionably to cause cancer and many other serious illnesses. Audi is working on a solution to have its future cars clean the air around them when they are driven and also even when they're charging. In order to achieve this, it's enlisted the help of one of its suppliers, Man Plus Hummel, an industry leader in filtration. And so far, the system has reportedly performed very well under testing. So this actually could be a real thing. Imagine driving an EV around, right? Knowing um, you're not producing any, any of these gases that are obviously causing cancer, right? Knowing that, and at the same time, you're removing those from the air. That's awesome. It's like a double win. Audi launched a pilot program to test out this technology in the real world in 2020, and it will keep running until 2024. According to Fabian Gros, project manager in attachment system development at Audi, such systems may become mandatory in new cars at some point. He says, this particular filter is an example of our pursuit of innovation for everyone's benefit and a successful collaboration with specialized suppliers. We're already doing a lot today on our initiative. We anticipate it will become also a legal requirement in the future. Now, do I believe it will be a legal requirement for people to sell a car that cleans the air, even though that car is not really polluting the air? No, I don't think that's likely. I think that's extremely unlikely, kind of maybe sensationalist kind of rhetoric from Audi here. But it is kind of ironic that this is the same company that was, well, convicted all over the world for the diesel gate scandal, where they intentionally muzzled the public about the Nox particulate emissions coming from Audi Group, Volkswagen Group vehicles. In fact, the emissions were far higher than they said, and they were cheating on the tests. Now, to be fair, Volkswagen Group aren't the only company that have been caught doing that, but they were doing that on a very, very big scale. And basically, people driving around in their diesel, in particular, their diesel-powered vehicles, were polluting at a much higher rate than they realized. Vehicles equipped though with this new system from Audi will filter particles out of the air in two different ways. Passively when the vehicle is being driven and active filtering when it's charging. Given that these extra filters are placed in the front of the vehicle, air flows naturally into the inlets when on the move, so it doesn't have to be drawn in through auxiliary means. Now when the vehicle is stationary though, this system of filtration employs a fan that brings air in and forces it through the filters in this instance, it will basically act like the air purifier you may have in your home. And the manufacturer notes that the vehicle would only clean the air when charging, not every single time you stop. Otherwise, the fan would presumably drain the battery too much. So this system is a little bit different to the video I showed of students with a system that cleans the air. I think the, the one in this vehicle, it's more of a kind of a domestic level version. It could clean the air a little bit. But the one that the students worked on was something that's actually actively reducing emissions in the atmosphere by about a kilo of pollution per day, a huge amount. Now, Audi says this system has been put through a 50,000 kilometer, 31,000 mile endurance test and, was not and it was found to not affect the functioning of the vehicle in any way. 
The manufacturer believes that the system is so effective it is capable of filtering even more than the vehicle's share of particles. In other words, filtering particles created by other vehicles. Now, I'm not sure what they mean by saying that it's capable of filtering more than its own particles. I wouldn't have thought Audi's electric cars would actually create any particles. But anyway, we'll find out at some point in the future what they're talking about there. So my key question here is, I wonder if it's going to eat all the excess particles created in the past by well, and, in, and now by Audi and Volkswagen vehicles, which are obviously emitting a lot more uh, particulates than they claim that they were. Now, one of the good things to remember is actually the atmosphere does clean itself pretty quickly when we're not polluting it. So I remember during COVID, right, the atmosphere in the world actually significantly improved during that period of time because so many fewer people were driving. The lockdowns caused a lot less people to actually commute to work and global pollution significantly came down. If you look at the world pollution maps, there were heaps, heaps better during that period of time. So it's actually possible that when we start using EVs, that the world atmosphere could improve pretty quickly. Not just EVs though, remember renewable energy is a huge part of that equation. Now I personally think Audi, even though this innovation is fantastic, and I would love to see this on all cars, Audi would actually be able to clean the atmosphere quicker if they just stopped producing gasoline powered vehicles, period and made only EVs. That's just my little suggestion for them though. So let, me know, let me know what you think about that in the comments section below. Do you think this could work on all cars? Thanks for watching, bye-bye.